Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome, everybody. God bless you. Welcome to our home. Welcome to the Bible study prayer meeting. I pray that you're ready to pray. And uh, we, 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 we praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, friends, we have got a bit of an issue again with the weather. And uh, it is affecting the, the broadcasts uh, all over the place. But I know that the Lord's going to help us. So we're trusting the Lord's going to be able to go through. It is recording. So if the feed does break, um, Isaac has, is, is recording it now, so it will be able to be uploaded. So it will record here, and then if it breaks, it will go through to the upload later. But I'm just praying that it's going to be live stream, so that we can enjoy this fellowship together. I was so encouraged. Uh, I've been phoning quite a few uh, uh, folks from the church just to just encourage. And yes, I'm going to get to your your home as well, and uh, we believe in God for great things. Uh, it, it just, friends, let's encourage one another. And let's be a blessing to one another in Jesus' mighty name. I have been so encouraged and so blessed to be uh, just having time, just a few minutes on the phone with each person. It's just been so wonderful. God bless you, and thank you for those blessings that you have sent our way. God bless you for that. So, Friends, let's gather around, let's open up in prayer, and we're going to uh, just have a, just a time here in praise and worship. Father, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to say thank you that this broadcast is going to go forward. And I thank you, Father God, that, Lord, many lives are going to be impacted and changed in the mighty name of Jesus. We say thank you, Lord God, for your awesome presence here. Thank you for Lorna and for Isaac and for mom, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, that you bless our home. Bless the church. Bless the people that are watching here this evening, Lord God. Bless each one, Lord God. Friends and family, Lord God, let them be so blessed by you, I pray. Father God, I pray that you'll give us an understanding of your word tonight. And Lord, as we go into a time of praise and worship, we want to draw closer to you, I pray. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And amen. Draw closer. Let's come and just praise and worship the Lord. I have a maker. He formed my heart. And in for time began. My life was in. Hallelujah, 
for our Lord God Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. Friends, I want you to just stretch your hand forward. We're going to pray for Lorna's dad, uh, who at the moment is undergoing an operation at the Westville Hospital uh, for a hernia, I think it is, it is. Um, that the Lord will just touch Uncle Peter, that the Lord will just minister healing into his body right now in Jesus' mighty name. Friends, let's just stretch our hands forward right now. Let's just pray. Peter Maria right now. Father, I just pray for Dad, Peter Maria, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that Lord, that you touch him right now, Lord God. You know, he's taken in, Lord God, this morning, Lord God. And Lord, they are doing the operation even right now. I pray, Lord God, that you send your word and touch him. Give direction to the surgeons, I pray. 
And Lord, heal his body, I pray, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. There is nothing impossible with you, Lord God. And I thank you, Father God, Lord God, that you touch, Lord God, those that are suffering, Lord God, even those that are suffering, Lord God, with COVID-19, Lord God, coronavirus, Lord God. Lord, touch and heal them, I pray. From the top of their heads to the soles of their feet, I pray, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, there's power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, that by your stripes, we are healed right now. I thank you, Father God, for a breakthrough right now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Friends, I pray tonight that you'll enjoy time in the Word with us. I pray that you will go, once we go off the broadcast, and go and do that time of prayer for that half an hour. Friends, let us seek the face of God. Let us let's come before the Lord. Let's know that the Lord, He does hear, and He does answer prayer. So I'm going to ask if we can... Uh, Go in our Bibles. I want us to go to Psalm 55 verse 22. Amen. Psalm 55 verse 22. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Lorna, don't you want to just read that for us? Psalm 55, verse 22. It says, Cast all your cares on the Lord. He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Praise the Lord. The Lord will never let the righteous fall. Amen. He is for us and not against us. Amen. You know, sometimes we face all kinds of things in our lives and uh, it's not always easy, friends. But I want you to know the Bible says, Cast your cares on the Lord. For He will sustain you. Yes. No matter what you're going through in your home. Mm. Maybe you, 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 you're battling in some areas. Maybe there's not hasn't been finances. Amen. But I want you to know the Bible promises, the Lord promises, says, cast your cares on the Lord. The Lord says, cast your cares upon the Lord. He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Amen. Hallelujah. For the Lord is good. Hallelujah. You know, if we go... And uh, go have a look at uh, 1 Peter 5 verse 7. 1 Peter 5 verse Amen. 7 says, the Bible tells us here, it says, Cast your cares on the Lord because He cares for you. Hallelujah. And I just want you to know, friends, that God is faithful to us. God is faithful to us. He never leaves nor forsakes us. Right. You know, He delights to answer your prayers. I want you to know, friends, that when you pray, yes. your prayers fill the senses in heaven. Amen. They say, well, Pastor, where's that? Go have a look in Revelations chapter 5. Also, Revelations chapter 8. You can go read up that in your time at, uh, when you're at home, uh, in, in your own private uh, devotion time. But I want you to go and seek that out, friends. I want you to know that not one of your prayers ever goes astray yes. if you have faith mm. and you believe mm. it will come to pass because you know what the bible says that the the prayers of the saints fill the senses in heaven it says there in revelations chapter 5 mm. and friends the angels run with that yes. as an assignment give the angels some assignments mm. this evening yes. pray pray earnestly with faith mm. because i want you to know friends that our faith you know, don't allow fear to overtake you. Mm. You know, when we allow fear to overtake you, fear paralyzes you. That's right. But faith will propel you. Mm. And when you pray the prayer of faith, when you pray and you cast all your cares, friends, there's some, some of the things that we are facing, there's nothing we can do about it. But there is something we can do. 
is have faith and pray and seek the face of God. Don't you think so, Lorna? Hey? You know, uh, we were chatting about it with mom the other day about how sometimes we, we pray yes. and we get down on our knees and we give our burdens to the Lord and he takes those burdens but then we get up and we say um god please give me that back because yeah. i haven't stopped worrying and we were saying how how worrying is like worshiping the devil yeah it is <laughs> but having faith is is respecting and honoring god's word if yeah. god says in his word that by the stripes of jesus mm. we are healed then how must we believe any other way yes and like let us not let us hold fast. Yes. Let us not stop believing in what God is. Well, look what I've got over here. He says, He'll always be our anchor yes. through the storm. Amen. And you know, in whose hands is it better to be in? In, in the Lord's hands. Yeah. He says, yes, He'll sustain you. He'll bring us through. And he says, storms, yeah, Cast eh? your cares mm. upon the Lord, for He cares for you. Friends, yeah. into His hands. Jesus said, Into your hands I commit my spirit. That's right. Friends, cast your burdens mm. upon the Lord into His hands. Cast your, your, your worries and your cares and your anxieties. Amen. Don't let fear destroy your life. We do serve a God of miracles. We serve a God Amen. of miracles. Amen. Amen. And God wants to do these things for us. Don't you want to share that story that you, you, you shared with me earlier on about William Smith? Yeah. Uh, William Smith actually told the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's this guy, he, he was telling a story. He said... There was a farmer and he had his ox wagon and he was going into town. He had a whole cart full of cabbages and he was taking this cart to the market and he went to market and he delivered all the cabbages and he was on his way home. And as he was going back home, there was a man walking alongside the road carrying a heavy burden and he stopped the cart and he said, Come, I'll give you a lift. Come, jump on the back. And the man eagerly jumped onto the cart. And the guy carried on riding up the road. And he looked back and the man was carrying the same sack on his back that he was walking up the road with. And the man said, Sir, you can, you know, why are you holding that burden? Unlatch it. Take it off your back. You know, I'm giving you a ride. He said, uh, I, I respect you too much. You're already giving me a lift. I can't expect you to carry my bag as well. <laughs> and I mean, how ridiculous. We laugh at the story, <laughs> but that's what we're doing. Do you know that God is carrying us through this time, church? True. We might Amen. not understand everything that's going around on, and going on in our lives, but God is carrying us. And I think along with amazing grace, the one of the, the poems that is just about as famous is that one footprints in the sand. Mm. And how the man looked back on the beach and he said, God, in, in the most difficult times of my the life, you left me. Life. There are my footprints all alone. And God said, no, that's when I carried you. And I believe God is carrying us at this time through the storms, Amen. through the rain, on the mountains and in the valley, in the good times and the bad times. He's never left He's us. He's never left us. He's never forsaken us. Amen. And as we cast our cares on him, let us take that baggage off. Amen. Give it give it to and the Lord. Also give it to the Lord. Silly as that man. Exactly. You know, yeah. the Lord is He's He's sustaining us. And friends, let me tell you something. It's nothing impossible for God to supply the, the finances, the food. God, God will open up the door. Mm. God will make a way. I shared with you uh, at church that one time. When we were going through such a difficult time, mm. you know, we didn't tell anybody that we were battling because sometimes you're a little bit too proud. Praising in the or, storm. We're just praising <laughs> in the storm. And Lorna and myself would sit in front of the, 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 the Christian channel and just receive from the Lord and weep and cry and pray and seek the face of God. And we had no, no more food, had no more finances. But you know what? God answered our prayer. That afternoon after we had gone and given away everything we had left, God said to us, take it and go and give it to those people. I said, God, it's half of this and half of that. And it's God said, go and give it away. Give away from yourself. And I said, Lord, this is hard. And yes, friends, we were going through mm. such a storm as it was. Mm. It was such a, a dire strait. Eh? Time. It was a most difficult time. And you know, we had, had little kids. Hey, it was so hard. But you know what? That afternoon, got home, and I thought, Lord, okay, well now I've given it away. How? What are we going to have for, 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 for supper? Mm. 
And there, there was a knock on the door, came to the door, and there was a whole month's groceries just laid out. Friends, God can send an and angel. we only told God. We only told God. We ate and, and from you know heaven's dining room. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? And there was an envelope. Yes. There was an envelope. Hallelujah. Stuck in the one packet with some cash inside. Time for sowing seed. Oh, <laughs> man, I tell you, I said immediately to Lorna, I said, come, let's take out Amen. our 10%. Hallelujah. Give it to the Lord. And we thank the Lord. Friends, I want you to know there's nothing impossible with God. If God can, like I told you that one time, mm -hmm. I lost that 20 rand of my mom's on the way to the shop. If God can bring her back a 20 rand floating down a river, He can do your miracle do for anything. you. He can do anything nothing for you. Impossible. And I want you to know, friends, as we go through to um, the next scripture here is Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. I'll read it for us. Yes. Uh, from verse 28, it says, says come to me come to me all you who labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest Praise the Lord. hallelujah friends it's time to rest in the lord the lord's called us into our homes for this reason not to mess around but to rest in him Amen. and trust him know that he's in control Amen. take your yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. Amen. Hallelujah. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Give it over to the Lord. Yes. Give all your worries and your cares and Amen. your concerns over to the all your anxieties. Give it over to the Lord. You know, I've got a, a scripture here. You can Lorna, I don't know if you want to turn there quickly as well as Philippians 4, verse 6. You know. Philippians 4 verse 6. Have you got it there? Here we go. Uh, through to verse 7. Read that for us quickly. Uh, from verse 4. No, fr from verse 6. Chapter from verse six. Philippians 4. Philippians 4, 6 to 7. Six. Be, anxious for nothing, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication and with thanksgiving. Amen. Let your request be made known to God, mm. and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind. mind. You know, friends, what is anxiety? Anxiety stress. is actually <laughs> fear and stress. stress. And fear, as I said to you earlier on, it will paralyze you. So God wants us to move away from the area of fear. Amen. And He wants us to have faith. Amen. In the, in the Greek, in our study that we were doing together here, mm. I was just looking, the Greek, the Greek word for casting or giving your cares to the Lord, the mm. Greek word for cast in the text that we had there in Peter is to throw it away. Throw it away. <laughs> and if I throw something in the bin. Throw your pain away. I'm not scratching it back. It's finished. Throw your disappointments uh, we, away. We want to go dig back that pain out of the garbage dumps. Don't go dig in the garbage. <laughs> Don't go digging in the garbage for your pain and your sorrow. And even the things that we've laid at the feet of Jesus, we've, we've given them to the Lord and He's got Hallelujah. it. And let us not scratch in the rubbish, rubbish patch That's it. that the devil has. You know what? Well, God wants us to eat from His tables, from the tables, the dining Amen. halls of heaven, not Amen. from the trash cans of hell. And and if we will have faith, Praise God Lord. will bring finances, God will bring healing, God will bring deliverance Amen. to your home Amen. and in Jesus' mighty Amen. name. Amen. It says, you be Amen. anxious for nothing, but in everything, everything. by prayer and supplication, Amen. with thanksgiving. Friends, it's time to start saying thank you to the Amen. Lord. Thank you to the Lord that He is protecting your life. Yes. Thank you to the Lord Thank that is protecting Lord. your family. Thank you, Thank you to the Lord for providing for you. Thank you to the Lord that He's yes, taken away that pain. Thank you to the Jesus. Lord that by your stripes I am healed. Thank you, Lord, that you have you, you're going to make a way where there seems to be no way. Thank you, Lord, that Lord God, that uh, you, you own Jesus. the cattle on a thousand hills, yes. the wealth on every man. Thank you, Lord, that Amen. you're going to make Thank a way you. where there seems Thank to be Jesus. no way. Start thanking Amen. the Lord. Start Amen. finding things to be thankful for to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lorna, let's go through to Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40. Verse 29 we had. Hey, okay, we hey, I'm missing mom here next to me. Mom. Give a shout out to the say Lord. Hey, say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Isaac say hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. You always see us here on this side and mom. Isaiah 40 and verse 29. Yeah, 29 to 31. He gives power Amen. to the weak. Amen. And those who have no might, he will increase strength. Yes. He'll Even increase the youths strength. shall faint and grow weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Yes. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and they not shall faint. not faint. Hallelujah. Wait on the Lord. Amen. Friends, the Israelites had to go into their homes. Once they had applied the blood on the doorposts and the lintels. And they had to go wait on the Lord. For that angel of death to Hallelujah. pass over. We must wait on the Lord. The Lord has sent us into our uh, respective homes to go wait upon Him. Amen. Not to go mess around, to wait on the Lord. Amen. Seek the Lord first. Put Him first. Seek Him and you'll find Him. I know um, our regional overseer, uh, Stafford Peterson, He's the moderator. moderator, he was saying to us and encouraging us that the disciples locked themselves away and waited. Mm -hmm in a lockdown yeah and they were afraid and they were hiding for their lives and they waited for the power of the holy spirit amen to be poured out mm. hallelujah amen you know what happens friends from the resurrection sunday 10 days 10 days you know where the disciples are at this time in bible times they're in the upper room 10 days and as somebody was counting for me today they they took from the time the lockdown started mm -hmm. till the 4th of May, which is after the weekend of the 1st, yeah. it's 40 days. 40 days. And it's like we've been locked away. It's going, going to be have locked away mm. for 40 days. And I'm just believing God for our pourings of His Holy Spirit and Hallelujah. miracles and that this virus yes. will die in Jesus' It says here, yeah, but those who wait, wait. those who wait. have gone and those waited, shall renew their strength. Yes. God won't let you go through all of this and forsake you. Mm -hmm. God will bring you through. God will deliver us. God will bring us out victorious. Amen. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be yes. weary. They shall walk at, and yes. not faint. You know, friends, today, let's wait on the Lord. He will sustain you. If there's things in our lives that have to be changed, mm -hmm. let the Lord change them. Amen. Let the Lord do that miracle in our lives. I pray this now in the mighty name of Jesus. And friends, I want to encourage you that we go and pray now. Amen. And go and seek the face of God. Know that the Lord is for you and not against Amen. you. You know, I've got some prayer points that we can just get a pen and a paper. Let's drop them down so that you know that we're praying effectively and in unison. Take these down so that when we go and pray now, go get down on your knees and begin to repeat these before the Lord and bring them before the Lord. Remember the prayers of the saints are filling the senses in heaven. And all around the world, people are praying on the same line. And I encourage you to do this tonight, to seek the face of God. Amen. Remember, friends, Jesus loves you. Mm. And so do we. We miss you. I really do miss you. Mm. Lorna and myself and mom and Isaac. We miss you guys. Amen. I miss Joshua and Hunter. Love you, Love you guys. <laughs> I really miss every one of the congregation, every one of our friends and family. I miss you guys. But keep singing. But keep singing. <laughs> and keep strong praising. in the Lord. Keep praising the Lord. Put Songs on the of garments of praise yes. for the spirit of heaviness. Amen. And just keep rejoicing in the Lord. Amen. Let's come and let's... Here's the prayer points that we're going to pray about this evening. Um, Mom, you can pray... For the church. Now, this is the little statement that I've got you. The church building may be empty, but so is the is, is Christ's tomb. Jesus is not dead, he's alive. Amen. Let's pray for the church, the people of God, to be raised to new life. Mm. We pray that new life will come in. Amen. The the people of God to be raised to new life. Pray James 4 verse 8 to 9. A genuine repentance of our nation. Amen. That our nation will turn back to God. Amen. 
our nation will find our peace in God, our, find our deliverance in God, find our salvation in God. We must also pray that God would reveal to believers what is important for the kingdom of God. Yes. Amen. Pray that the church would act as the, the hand and the feet of God, of God, of the Lord, showing God's love in their unity. Friends, let's stand together where we can help. Let's help. Let's pray. Amen. Let's seek the face of God. Amen. Amen. Pray for the outreach to be effective. Every outreach, whether it's buffets or whatever they call it, buffering, let the message just keep going out. We're just going to keep on Amen. sharing the love of God. We're going to keep on sharing these messages Amen. so that it can encourage you and it can reach out far Amen. and wide. I encourage you, friends, take this message and share it with somebody. Amen. Share it with somebody on your WhatsApp or your whatever channel you've got. Share it out there. Then, Isaac, you can pray for the frontline workers who are at risk. There's many that are going through some really trying times um, that they will not be exposed to this virus, that God will protect them. Amen. There's many frontline workers, whether it be medical staff, security staff, all around the world. All around the world. Friends, they have... What's that, Mom? Police, army. Police, army. They're going through really trying times. Tears. Pray that they will have patience and strength. Mm. Um that many of them are burnt out physically and emotionally. Let's pray for them. Lorna, you can pray for the government to be wise, to do what is right uh, for self-restraint and Amen. compassion. Mm. You know, it's so important that we have the government have that compassion. There are poor families, poor, that don't have the uh, things that they need at this time. They, 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 they've been put into this lockdown and They've got no food. Pray that there will be compassion. Amen. That there will be help for them. Yes. And then I will pray for businesses and the business owners and the staff. That their businesses will be Amen. able to be effective. People will be able to Amen. still work from home. Be able to do their work and be paid. And that the economy. Friends, I know we had some really disappointing news today about the economy. But I know that God's got God our economy. Control. God Amen. is in control. Yes. And God will turn the economy around for the us. glory of God. Amen. There's nothing impossible Coming with God. God, You know what? Amen. We're going to come out of the stronger than and what we better. ever were. And yes. we're going to come out better in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Amen. You know, friends, no matter what the news is, let's keep our eyes on Hallelujah. the Lord. He'll never leave nor forsake thank you. you so we want to say thank you to the Lord. Thank you for being with us this evening. I want you to go and get down on your knees and go and pray and seek the face of God. Remember, He loves you. We love you. And we want to be a blessing to you. Amen. Remember, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Lorna, why don't you just close off and pray Thanks for us this Lord. evening and just say thank Hallelujah. you to the Lord. Lord Jesus, it, I just thank you, Father. Remember the words of that old hymn of what a friend we have in yes, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. And Lord God, thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are a friend mm, that sticks closer than a brother. And Lord God, I thank you at this time, Lord Jesus, that thank we you, do Jesus. not distance ourselves from you. Hallelujah. But your presence will fill our thank hearts you, and our minds and our homes and our and our cities thank and our you, communities Jesus. and our world. And thank Lord God, you, I thank you, Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of hallelujah. Jesus, if anybody is not feeling well, thank Lord you, God, Jesus. I just pray that you heal those thank knees. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody with hurting knees. Touch those God, knees right the now out of those in the mighty name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Father God, remove yes. every migraine in the name Kira of Jesus. Lord God, thank you, Lord Jesus, those in flu, that oh, they'll recover now in the mighty right name of now, Jesus. And Lord God, as each home has requests and they share them out oh, with each other, that they yes, of the righteous, righteous man availeth much. And Lord God, as we come and we lay out the burdens at your feet this evening, I thank you that we won't pick them up. We put them down at the cross. We cross and we all walk of our in thanksgiving in and praise to you, you and we honor you in Jesus', Jesus name. Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's Amen. somebody here this evening uh, that is listening. You've had terrible pain in your arms all over here. It's been like uh, painful and sometimes it goes like numb. Mm. God is touching you thank right you, now. Jesus. Just receive heal that healing right now. Just Jesus. heal those arms, those muscles, those nerves. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just hear their prayer right now, Lord God. Oh, pour in the healing balm right now. Thank you, Lord, that by your stripes they are healed right now. Thank you, Father God, that you do this miracle. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Love you guys. God Love bless you. you. Remember, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. And don't go digging the trash cans. Yes. Cast Remember, all your cares upon the Lord. Feast on the tables Amen. of heaven. Love you Amen. guys. Love God you. bless you. Amen. We'll see you on Sunday. Amen. God bless.